In this lecture, we are going to install Code Blocks IDE for C or C++ programming. In the previous lectures, uh, I showed you that how you can install Visual Studio Code. Uh, but uh, when you are working on C or C++ and you want to use an IDE that is specially made for these programming languages, then uh, there's a very excellent option which is called Code Blocks that you can use. And it's very easy to install in Ubuntu operating system. You can simply just go uh, to their website, just write uh, code blocks on Google and it will take you to their official website and, and you can check its features and all the important details about it. But uh, we can simply just uh, skip that and install code blocks in our Ubuntu operating system. Uh, so the very first thing that we need to do is uh, update your system, right? So I will write sudo apt update. And it's a very uh, good practice to update your Ubuntu operating system before you install something. Okay, so now that everything is updated, all we have to do is just write sudo apt, sorry, sudo apt install code blocks. Right, just go ahead and type Y and hit enter. Now these are all the uh, packages that uh, will be installed after uh, we are done with this installation because these are all the packages that our core blocks uh, is going to use so it really depends on your internet connection that how much longer will it take to download and install all these packages so i'll just simply go ahead and uh, fast forward the video from here okay so here you can see that uh, our core blocks uh, has been installed just hit a uh, windows button on your keyboard and go to the uh, this uh, type to search uh, bar and type code blocks, right? So here you can see we have a code blocks IDE with us, right? So you can simply just go ahead and click on it. And here you can see that uh, we have a GCC compiler already installed here, so it detected it. So just, I mean, let it be and hit OK. OK, so this is the code blocks IDE that we are going to be using. Uh, so you can simply just go to this files and here you can uh, create new project, right? Just click here. Okay, so these are all the different types of objects that you can create. You can create JTK project, MATLAB project, uh, OpenCV project, OpenGL project. Uh, I mean, inside this uh, code blocks IDE, that's how powerful uh, it actually is. So let's just go ahead and uh, select this console application because if you're going to work on C or C++ as a, as a beginner, so then most probably you are going to be using console application. Just click here and hit go and just hit next. Uh, if you are going to be working on C++, then just go ahead and uh, select this language. And if you are going to be working on C, then select this. I'm going to select C++, next, uh, this is the name, uh, this is the test project, right, and we will select the folder where, where we want to save this, and let's just uh, select desktop, uh, we will hit open, and then we will hit next, uh, next, and here you can see we have our uh, uh, project created. So just click, double click on it. This is the main .cpp file that is created for our project. This is the Hello World program that we also created in the previous lectures. And if you want to run this, just click here and it will be compiled and executed all together. Right, so here you can see this is the console and here you can see your Hello World as an output, right? So that's how you can use a code blocks IDE uh, if you want to work with C or C++ programming language.